Hello everyone, welcome to Food Science and Technology channel. Today we will discuss about sulfur dioxide in food and determination of total free and combined sulfur dioxide in food. We know that potassium metabolic sulfide generates sulfur dioxide when it in acid medium such as when it's dissolved in water. 222 mg KMS potassium metabolic sulfide gives 128 mg SO2 in food. Sulfur dioxide is used in food for different purposes for whitening, purification, example in sugar industry, in different candy industry for whitening. Used for preservation in soft drinks, wine for se long shelf life. FDA Food and Drug Administration limit the use of it in food in ppm parts per million or mg per kg. Now we will determine the sulfur dioxide in food. First prepare 0.02 and iodine solution, 0.1 and sodium thiosulfide and potassium dichromate. For sodium thiosulfide and potassium dichromate watch in description. At first 0.1 and sodium thiosulfide is standardized with potassium dichromate is primary standard solution. After that 0.02 and iodine solution is standardized with sodium thiosulfide. After standardization then prepare this chemical before start. preparation then start first we determine free SO2 we take orange scars take 50 ml sample at 5 ml dilute S2SO4 in sample and 0.5 gram sodium carbonate in iodine flag titrate rapidly with 0.02 in iodine solution using starch indicator to a blue color endpoint let the first titrate be A and take another flax and carry out same step. Before titration, mix formalin and stand for 10 minutes. Formaldehyde binding agent. Then titrate to blue color endpoint using starch indicator with iodine solution. That titer B, let B. Then using this formula, we can determine free SO2 in food sample. Now determine total SO2 free plus bound in food sample. Take 50 ml sample in 2 to 50 ml flax. Add 5 ml of 5 and NaOH in both of them and mix gently without beating in air. NaOH added to liberate the bond SO2 and allowed to stand for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, add 7 ml of 5 and SCL and strict immediately in both flask then take one flask add one ml starch indicator and titrate it immediately with 0.02 and iodine solution to a blue endpoint let the titer be c to another flask add 10 ml formalin and streak and stand for 10 minutes after 10 minutes then add 1 ml starch indicator and titrate it rapidly with iodine solution to a dark blue endpoint. Let the titer be D. After titration, then using this formula, we can determine total SO2 in ppm in food sample. Thank you everyone. Keep watching, keep supporting, like, subscribe.